everyone. Glenda Mollett here. Welcome to my craft room tonight. We're going to get inky. Just getting my computer set up here so I can watch for comments. Yay! We're going to get inky. Okay, be quiet, woman. There we go. Hey, Norma. All right. We are going to create... Oh, there's Jean. Hi, Jean. Okay, so we're going to create a card. I was feeling nostalgic the other day when I decided that I needed to make a card that reminded me of our sailing days. We used to own... Hi, Valerie. Hi, Holly. We used to own... A sailboat. Our sailboat was 32 feet. It was absolutely perfect for spending, oh, a couple of weeks on. We were so lucky. Okay, why is it crooked? You know I can't do crooked, right? Let's see if that fixes it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so we used to, we, we got... Our first sailboat when we lived up in Kitimat, which is in northern BC. And then um, we moved down here. So we had we sailed our boat down with friends of ours. And we had that boat. It was a 27-footer. And we had that one for a few years. And then we decided that we wanted to go a bit bigger because that one didn't have... Um, a shower and it didn't have refrigeration and if we wanted to go out hi Janet if we wanted to go out for any length of time we really needed refrigeration because ice melted quite fast in the summertime so we bought our 32 footer and it had a separate bathroom it actually had two bathrooms it had an ensuite and a, a whole master suite at the back of the boat so I was missing it the other day. We sold it because it was costing us a fortune. Because we weren't going anywhere on it. Just at that period in our life, we had just had grandchildren. So we wanted to spend more time with the grandchildren. We didn't want to spend time away from them. So we decided to sell the boat. So the name of it was Mariah. And it went sailing off. And the last we heard, it was in Campbell River. So, this card is an ode to our sailing days. And it's got bling in it. I used some of the ombre, nope, rainbow glimmer paper for, I don't know, the rocks, the shore, whatever the uh, lighthouse is sitting on. Added a bunch of birds, because, you know, there's always birds when you're sailing. And then the gems are the blue adhesive back gems, and then on the inside. And look at all the spon sponging I did, Valerie. I even sponged the envelope. Ah, uh -huh. Thanks. Hey, hey, Yvonne. I had a lot of fun making this card. You know, every once in a while, I just sit down and create a card because I want to and that was one of them and then I thought well it's too fun to keep to myself so I decided to share with you how I did it so um basic white card base and five and a quarter by four for the inside then I put on let me just slip that in there then I put on a layer of mango melody Go bright or go home, eh? Hey, Carmen. Um, a piece of basic white that's five and an eighth by three and seven eighths to layer on there. And then this one is for the lighthouse. I have a couple of pieces of the rainbow glimmer paper for down here and then a strip for the sentiment. And I know you're looking at it, you're thinking that's way too wide. Well, I'm going to hand cut it. Oh, good, Jean. It is very nautical. 
Yvonne it is. Oh, power outage. Oh, that's why you left, Shannon. We missed you. All of a sudden, there you were gone. Is it windy over there? It's, there's, it's nothing here. There's nothing. There's no wind. There's no rain. There's nothing. It's a, it's a nothing day. Okay. So, I'm just going to... Oh, good. Hi, Marlene. So, did you all see my picture that I posted on my business Facebook page with me with the new catalog? Yeah. I am a tease. I am, I am, I am. I fully admit I am a tease. Oh, you got to go over and look at it, Valerie. Not now. After. It'll be there. It's not going anywhere. It's just a, a teaser for the new catalog that's coming up. Just a teaser. Okay, I show you the catalog and the, well, the outside of the catalog and the outside of the celebration brochure. It's there. And you know how to get one early, early. You got about 24 hours. Okay, I'm going to put Mango Melody down the center. Because it's a sunset. So that's what I decided needed to go in there. And I like Mango Melody for sunsets because it's nice and bright and fun and kind of has an orangey tinge to it. And you could do this card on um, shimmer white as well as on basic white. It would be really nice as well on shimmer white. Okay, so I'm just sponging. I shouldn't have my finger on there, though. Just blending it out, smoothing it out. You know what I should have done? I want to try something. Okay, we're we're going to we're going to have we're going to do a guinea pig thing. I want to see if I can put a uh, horizon in the sunset. I have to do this so I can get the horizon even cuz I want it to be I don't know whether this is going to work or not. But I've got the other side, so if this doesn't work, then we'll just... Oh, that's not going to work. I don't... I like this um, grid paper because it shows me um, vanilla, white on vanilla. But I don't like it because it's not even. I don't know what they did. Oh, well, I know what they did. This side, this side is metric and this side is... Um, what do you call it? Metric and what's the other word? Imperial. Hello. I'm having a brain moment tonight. Okay, so I've put I've put that there. And I'm just going to try and do a little bit. I don't want it to be too far down on the horizon because um, I just want a bit of a reflection in the water. I don't know whether this is going to turn out or not, but you know what? Why not try? Got nothing to lose by trying, right? Okay, so now I'll take that off, and we'll put this on, and I'm going to move it down just a just a hair because I don't want the I don't want there to be a white line there. Okay, here we go. Just adding some more mango melody. We'll see if I get a horizon in here. I should. Want it a little bit darker up top.
This reminds me of the sunsets that we get on Mackenzie Beach in Tofino when we're out there. Okay, let's just see if I, how much I can smooth this. Jean, it's so good to see you. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? See you. Yeah, it's good to see your name. <laughs> okay, let's see what it's going to look like. <gasps> Ooh, I think it needs to be a tad darker on the bottom. There's not much there. rip it off. Ooh, that might be interesting. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to get out Pacific Point. Just remember that yellow and blue make green. So if you're doing this and you don't want green water, just be careful how much you are invading the Mango Melody with your blue. Uh-oh. I didn't get enough of it off. And see, I got those ugly swirls in there. But it's okay, because that's all going to be covered up with the, with the glimmer paper anyways. I want it to be a little bit darker around the edges. around turkey and trimmings games with the grandkids my granddaughter and I put the Santa tag kit oh that's awesome what a bit what an awesome way to spend the day the weekend however long because you guys go all out for Thanksgiving and it's four days Okay, so there's the bottom, and that's Pacific Point. Now I'm getting Knight of Navy to do the sky, because it's getting dark. Ooh, why is it doing this? Must be must be clouds blowing in from the ocean. That's what the swirls are. Sure, I can be. And I want it to be dark around the edge. Maybe we should have put a sun in there too. Too late. What do you think about the horizon? Do you like the horizon in there? I think that's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, it's so exciting. I know that's you're right, Janet. That's why it was doing it. Because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And I was getting too much ink from the this blending brush. I kind of like that. Okay, now we're going to put some birds in there. Where are the birds? Here we go. Make sure they're the right way up. And I'm using Knight of Navy. Oh, no. Let's do the... I remember. I stamped this first, and this should have been a little closer over to here, so I'm going to do this and then figure out where I want it first. 
before I do that. So let's stamp the lighthouse. Ink, ink, ink. Make sure it's good and juicy. There we go. The horizon really looks like the fog is rolling in into Fino. There we go. Now, while I'm here, I am going to stamp the inside as well. Oh, let's get my piece here. It's here. I know it's here. Oops. I did my unboxing last night, Jean, during during the uh, triple offset stamping class. It's it's um, still there if you want to see it. It's right. Yeah, I did it at the end. So, yeah, we had a good class last night. It was fun. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to put this on. Oops. There we go. I didn't have really have a lot of stuff because it was just my my product purchase premier order. But I was so excited because it arrived. It arrived on a Saturday. And I was able to get all my gifts ready for my team today. For our super secret our um Stampin' Social in December, I have a a super secret ingredient for them. And I haven't told anybody what it is. Just those that have received it knows what it is. But they don't know why they're getting it. Because <laughs> I'm being sneaky this year. You'll all know on the December the 1st. You're welcome. So I'm, I'm going to um, send out the cutting instructions on December the 1st. I'm putting um, Mango Melody Stampin' Right marker in the windows because I want the sunset to be reflected. There. Okay. Where did my, where did my piece go? There it is. So this is going to sit right about here so that the, it should be right about there, just kind of sitting on the horizon like that. I'm going to leave that there because I really didn't like how that was too far away, but I didn't want to re-stamp it. So. Okay, one sailboat coming down. Yay! Okay, this is on the envelope too, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. Do the envelope while I got the stamp out. So I was working on my Christmas cards today. All the family ones are done. And I've added them up. And I think I might just do a contest to see who can get closest to um, how many Christmas cards I've made this year. Okay, let's put this back on here. Start them here. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Okay, why did that come through? I thought I did my do not disturb things. There you go. What do you think? I like it. Now, I used Wink Estella, but if you can see here, see how it reactivated the ink? So I'm going to try really delicately just to put a little bit of Wink Estella on the boat without reactivating that Knight of Navy ink. It won't reactivate the background because the background is um, stamp. Oh, I guess it will. I thought it was. I was going to say it's Stampin' Blends, but it's not. It can reactivate the background. So I'm not. I'm just dab dab dabbing where I want the Wink of Stella to be. There, that's better. Oh, get rid of that message. There we go. Okay. So now let's get this and my scissors and I'm going to, let's see, blue up, I think. Flag the end. Flag the end and then, oh, I don't think that's even. Nope. It's out ever so slightly. There. Now, I'm going to put it on here because I want them to be equal-ish. There we go. Now we'll cut down the center of that one. Okay. Now I'm doing this before so that, because these are really long and I don't want it to be the full length. So I want to do it before I put it on to the card, then I won't be able to um, cut off the excess if I put it onto the card. There. Oh, I forgot. I know what I forgot to do. Wink Estella on here to blend out the starkness. But let's get let's get this on first. Put a little bit of oh. This one's just about at the end and it's acting up, being naughty. So does anybody watch Murdoch Mysteries? I'm just going to put that on there like that. Is that straight? Sure. Good enough. Does anybody watch Murdoch Mysteries? Did you watch the one from the weekend? It was, I cried. Yes, I did. I cried. It was so moving at the end. Okay, now this one's going to go right underneath that sailboat. Kind of right there. And we'll just slice this off. Now we can layer it onto our Mango Melody. Yeah, so watch for that contest coming to a Facebook group close to you. This one. It will be for my my VIP peeps. So it's we had our had the bingo last night during our triple offset stamping class. But because in British Columbia a game of chance is con considered a lottery, 
and I would have had to get a gaming license to do it. I was sneaky because, oh, you know what? I want Knight, Knight of Navy background. go oh yes oh yes ma'am okay so last night so because I can't do a game of chance so that you have a chance of winning a prize so I kind of snuck in on everybody right at the very end that everybody who showed up for bingo won a prize because <laughs> that way it's not a game of chance. We had the fun of playing bingo, and then I got to give stuff away. It was fun. Okay, so now I'm just going to use Wink Estella and go over top of this. Just to take this, reactivate that ink, and take away the starkness of the white, the blue and the white. Just have to be careful because I want to keep the the integrity of the stamped image. Oh, I've got a couple of cards to show you too, so let me put them right here so I remember to show. I got I got mail today. Come on, you're not reactivating. There we go. Got to get right to the edge there without going over. I should have done it right away. Instead of letting it dry a bit. But that's okay. We're getting there. It's going over top with Wink Costella. Ooh, and I got a super secret surprise for my club members in December, too. You just wait. I'm enjoying doing this super secret surprise giveaway gifty things. Okay, there's the top. Oh, Carmen, I'm glad you had fun. It was a lot of fun for me too. The worst part though, it was stressful because we did, what do we play, four or five games of bingo. And one of them, there was still, there was only four spots left uncalled before somebody called bingo. And that's when I discovered that not all of my bingo markers or bingo chips to call the numbers were there. So there was holes, but there was no little things to call the numbers with. So I uh, I put it on a wheel and the last time I'm going to do this window but it's going to be covered up by the sentiment. Um, the last one we did a blackout but I put it on a wheel. Yes, I am a tease Yvonne because I can <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this one is, the backing is cut almost through, and most of the time when I go to take my, see, <laughs> when I go to get my, my dimensional off, it's still attached to the backing. I like surprising people. I like giving things away because you know what? Without my customers, my business would not be what it is. And I would not be getting what I get from Stampin' Up. There we go. It's because of my customers and my team. So why not give them super secret surprises? 
make their days happy. <laughs> yeah, Valerie won. Legitimately won. So your stuff went in the mail today, Val. I made a special trip up to the post office to drop off all of the bingo stuff for those that live out of town. And those that live in town, it's out on the front porch. Oh, look at that. Awesome sauce. Okay. So this stamp set, number 822, is the oldest stamp set I have in my active drawer. So I've gone through 822 stamp sets before that have retired. Oh, good. I'm glad you loved my surprises because they're fun. They're fun. I put the dark jewels on that one. Oh, you know what? I hear Shanna in my head. I did mix them, so that's a light one. These two are dark. I hear Shanna in my head telling me to mix my, my embellishments. I have been a demonstrator um, 14 years in o last October. And I was buying Stamping Up for about a year before that. But it wasn't very long after I started using it that I realized that it was going to cost me a small fortune if I kept going the way I was going. So that's why I, I signed up and got the starter kit. Because I wanted the discount. I'm just putting some Wink Estelle in the inside one too. Because you know it needs a little love. So I got the starter kit because I wanted the 20% discount on the stuff. And my sister-in-law and I decided that we would do it together. Then she, she stopped using as much stuff as I was starting to use. So it got to the point where I needed some kind of income to support my habit. And that's when I started doing classes. In my craft room. Now my craft room is a bedroom. And it's only, was it 10 by 10 by 10, I think, or 8 by 10, I don't know. And I had, even back then I had Ikea on the walls. And Ikea on the walls is 24 inches deep. So it takes a lot of room out of my little tiny bedroom. But I did. I did my classes in my craft room. Started out with daughter-in-law, her aunt, or her mom, her aunt, and her cousin. Way back when. They were my guinea pigs. <laughs> Shadow, you're, you're sneaky in there. You didn't let me know, let me know that you were there. Look at, it's crooked. I can't. I can't live with it crooked. Yes, I can. Let's put some birds inside, just because, you know, they deserve to have some life, too. There we go. And on the envelope. Where's my envelope? Yeah, so the classes were fun back then. There was four plus me crammed into my little tiny craft room. Can I handle that crooked? We'll just call it the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And I used to have, I used to bake back then. I know, shock, eh? I would make muffins or cookies or something when I knew they were coming over. <laughs> Strong winds in Tofino, it is. That's my Tofino lighthouse. It looks like my Tofino trees from last night. Shannon, you're, Shannon, you are so funny. It's because we've known each other for like donkey's years. I've known Shanna. Sh 
she signed up with me as a demonstrator. Of, so I, I joined in, was it 2008? Seven or eight, I can't remember, but I know it's 14 years. No, this year. Anyways, she signed up about a year after I signed up. She was my very first downline. I had no idea what I was doing way back then. And we did a lot of fun things. We had used to have craft fairs and all sorts of stuff at her her cafe, the cup and saucer. Of course, I used to eat there too because the food was awesome. But then her life changed and she moved on. And now she's back. Okay, so I'm just using my scissors and I'm hand cutting this. So not only am I having the leaning tower of pizza on the inside of my card, but I'm having a hand cut sentiment on the outside of my card. Now are you shocked? Okay, that's going to go. Oh, look, my my thing's down too low. All right, we'll pivot. We'll put it right there. Pivot. That's the word for 2000 and 2021, pivot. Everybody's had to do a lot of pivoting this year. I, um, I saw the... The, num the COVID numbers from yesterday. The place where I go it always gives the previous day one day count. And what was it? 281, I think, new cases in BC and 88 on the island. 88 on the island. I have to put some adhesive on there. I couldn't believe when I saw that number. It was almost half of the total cases are on Vancouver Island. Like, what the heck is going on? So I'm thinking, even if we could go up north, I wouldn't go up north because I don't want to expose my grandchildren to the the possibility. Look, there's that little tiny bit of the, can you see that there? There's a little tiny bit of the, um, the bottom of the lighthouse poking through and I don't like it. It looked funny. So I'm just hacking it off. Look, there we are. <laughs> uh, you may think you convinced me that they're fun after all, but I still don't like craft fairs. You know what I forgot to do? Oh, forgot to sponge it. Oh, gosh. You didn't remind me, Valerie. I still don't like um, craft fairs. I still would rather not do them. So, thankfully, COVID has allowed me to not do them. <laughs> I'm going to put it on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, got to get this underneath there, though. I was asked to be in a few of them this year. There is no way. It's just way too peopley out there for me. It's working. Post it notes to the rescue. 
is the one I used when I did my tulip card. I did do a few craft fairs, though. I must admit, I did. Thanks, Val. Oops, I just about reached for the blue one. No, no, no. Not blue. Where there's a will, there's a way. just a little bit so I can get the bottom there. But I must admit that the craft fairs that you used to have at the, the cafe, those were fun. Because we, mo we knew most of the people coming in. They were friends and family. It's just strangers I don't like. There we go. Sponging on the inside. We'll get some sponging on the envelope. Oops. You see it's turning green? Because I was sponging blue into the yellow. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Kind of have to be careful because you will reactivate the ink that's on your scratch paper by doing this, as you can see. Come on, stop doing it. Just about done. That was it. Oh, lots of time. Yeah, so I have to continue on with my Christmas cards tonight. Because my goal each year is to get them in the mail by December the 1st. And usually I make it. There we are. And we'll just throw this piece of paper away because it's kind of useless now. And I need... Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. I need to stamp my name on it. Oh, good, Yvonne. I'm glad I could inspire you. There we go. One Glendabollet original. And the number on there is... Yay! Okay, which one, which one do you like better? Do you like the original one on white with no horizon, or do you like tonight's on blue with the horizon. Which one? Which one do you like better? Well, I have a cup, a drink of tea, and then I'll show you the cards I got in the mail today. Mm. Oh, you like the original blue horizon, blue original, Night of Navy, blue, blue, tonight's. Yeah, majority of the people like tonight's. I I do like that horizon on there. That worked out really well. Who knew? Thanks, ladies. Yeah, it was fun. So, place an order. Maybe I'll send you one of the cards. Ha, 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 ha. Don't forget... The retiring list comes out on Wednesday and everything that is retiring will 
be while supplies last only. Now, I did notice today I was in looking at the back order situation and they re must have received a whole bunch of truckloads because all the paper that was on um, back order is in all, like the cardstock and those the the penguin punch is in and the deer punch is in so cafe did have the best customers yeah so um if you are at all inclined to get anything else out of the mini catalog make sure you do it early when the retiring list goes out because those things kind of fly off the shelves fast people panic okay so i received this card today from my friend laura who organized the healthcare worker fundraisers so she just sent me a thank you card for participating in it isn't it cute i love that whale i miss the whale stuff yeah this is that retired sea side or whatever it was called embossing folder so it was nice of her to send me a card thanking me we had um over 150 applications for crafting kits and between four of us we managed to fund every single one of them so everybody that requested a little bit of crafting retreat is getting their kit so they're on order and they will be they're starting to ship stamping up shipped two boxes for me today so they're working on it and then I got this card from my friend Tamara in Edmonton congratulating me on being demonstrator number 14 in Canada she used the um, Garden of Eden paper and this ribbon this shimmery gold ribbon is still not in and it has not been in oh August I think they ran out of this ribbon and it just has not ever showed up but it really goes good with uh, Garden of Eden designer paper and evening evergreen and soft succulent cardstock isn't that cool I love getting cards cards are fun I took a stack about this thick to the post office today of all the stuff I had to mail out it was fun that's the only place I went today. I went to the post office and came home. Usually I do that on Wednesdays, but I didn't want to wait till Wednesday to get the super secret surprises out and the um, bingo prizes. It is a lovely card. And you know what, Janet? You could, you could do it with any designer paper at all. She's popped this layer up on dimensionals. You could use any color theme, any designer paper, any sentiment. You could even make it a Christmas card. Put a few red rhinestones on there and say Merry Christmas. You went to the library today? Nice. Yeah, I hate going out. Honest to God, I do. It scares me. Well, ladies, that's it for tonight. Thanks so much for being on my journey to create a sailing memory. I think I shared a picture of, or if I didn't share, maybe it's when I post it to my blog, I shared a picture. Like this, this will be posted on, wait, let me check out the date. Um... Monday card or two two five. Okay, so on Thursday, Thursday, this coming Thursday, my blog post goes up with a link to this card, and it will have a picture of my of our latest sailboat, Mariah. If you want to have a look, 
Thanks for joining me, Yvonne. Good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay, ladies, that's it for me. I'll be back live on YouTube in the morning. I'm going to going to do another Christmas card, a velvet, a red velvet poinsettia card tomorrow. 10 a.m. Pacific time in my YouTube channel. Good night, Holly. Good night, Valerie. Good night, Carmen. We'll see you all soon. Stampin' Smiles, and bye for now.